The government's policy for dealing with violent crime isn't working. That's according to the Public Accounts Committee, who say the number of teenagers caught carrying knives and guns has doubled under Labour. Rouge de Fuchsia reports. Joseph Lappin and Nasruddin Asawe, just two innocent victims of today's crime culture. But Parliament's Public Accounts Committee says the government's failing to tackle its causes. It's not beyond the wit of man to really make a, a real push against knife crime and find out what motivates young people, why they're going to gangs, how you can get them out, how you can get them another lifestyle. The number of 15 to 17 year olds carrying a knife doubled between 1996 and 2006. The number of crimes involving a gun also doubled in the same period. This is the spot where 16 year old Ben Kinsella was killed. He'd been celebrating the end of his GCSEs at a bar down the road. He was stabbed when a row erupted with another group and spilled onto the street. Ben became the 17th teenager to be killed in London this year. You aren't solving the problem with people carrying knives. People have two reasons, one because of fear and two because of the getting into crime. I've got two grown-up sons and I do really worry that they'd be in the wrong place at the wrong time. But while some parents live in fear for their children, the Home Office maintains crime levels overall are at their lowest for 20 years. That report uh, from uh, Arouj de Fuisha, uh, joined now by Margaret Mizzen, the mother of Jimmy Mizzen, who was killed in May of this year, and gang expert Nathaniel Peat. Thank you both very much indeed for being with us. Um, Nathaniel, let me kick off with you, if I may. Um, this disturbing increase in the number of young people carrying knives, 15 to 17 year olds. Why? Do you think? Well, I think a lot of it's uh, the perception which is created. Um, a lot of people think that it's really bad on the streets. A lot of young people are in fear of their lives, so they, they're picking up the knives to protect themselves. Um, a lot of them are bullied into gangs. Uh, a lot of them uh, feel insecure about themselves. They don't value their life. Uh, and so there's, very, there's various different reasons. Uh, one is because of the fear, and, and the other, I think, is because of the glory of the street. Do you think it's about protection, uh, Margaret, as well? I don't know much about knife crime, but I, I feel that, 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 there are, that young people today are scared to walk around, and I think it's they pick up something, whether it's a gun or a knife or anything, it seems that, that the young people are carrying anything to cause harm yeah. to the, other people. The government say that you know, they're doing the level best. The number of uh, people being stopped and searched, for example, has increased dramatically uh, in, in the last uh, few months. 100,000 people, I, I gather. They've, they've pulled in 2,200 knives in, in, in recent months as well. Is that enough in your view? I mean, it's, it's a great measure that they've taken. However, I don't think it's enough. Uh, they, what they need to do is think more about preventative methods as opposed to reactive. That seems to be quite a reactive uh, type of method where, you know, you get stop and search. And also, it creates a really, um, I don't know, the, a lot of the young people, when you get a police officer that stops, you, you know, it gets you back up. Mm. It creates a resistance. What they've got to try to do is actually get into the schools more, get into the mines, affect, affect it at an earlier stage. Well, that's what this government report is saying, this public account, account committee report is saying. So they're not getting at the source, they're not finding out why these young people are, are, are carrying knives. Would you go along with that? Uh, absolutely, and I, and, I, and I think one of the most important things is we need to get into the schools much earlier. As, I mean, if, if a child bullies, they bully usually from a young age. Let's get into the schools in primary school. Let's talk to the young people. If a child is bullying, let's bring in the psychologist. Let's see why. It might be there's something happening in their lives. It might just be the, in them, I don't know. But let's get into the schools much earlier and catch the bullies before it gets too late. In fairness, again, to the government, I mean, they, they would say that, look, we've spent nearly £4 million on, on a scheme tackling knife crime in particular, and part of that scheme is actually going into schools, going into youth projects, etc., providing alternatives to just hanging around on the street, carrying knives and stabbing people, actually, you know, creating something for these youngsters to do. They are trying, you would admit. I think, I think there needs to be a greater method. Uh, my organisation, The Safety Box, actually goes into the curriculum. We teach it in an extended period of time. Uh, it's not just one-off uh, workshops, it's not just a one-off uh, warning, it's, yeah. it's got to be And they're criticised for doing that. This report, this report today says often it is just a one-off initiative and then they go away and everything reverts to normal. The thing is, you can have a, a very short-lived uh, effect. Uh, you, you go and show a young person some really graphic images of a stab wound. Okay, that might have an effect for two days, but guess what? They're going back into the communities where they've got those gangs, where they feel pressured and um, unfortunately, you know, it's not solving the problem. I'm a firm believer also that I think that we all need to work together. It's not just about the government.
government. Let's work yeah. together with the police, the community, the parents, the mm. carers. All working together can make a difference. But I don't think if you say, let the government have to do something, we all have no, to do something. Right. It's, it's, a, it's yeah. a problem for Absolutely. everyone, That's I agree. Right. Yeah. And a lot of people yeah. would also say, Nathaniel, tougher sentences. But again, That's the right. government would say, we have increased the sentences for possession of knives and, and, and stabbing uh, uh, crimes. The problem is, I mean, they, the, the prisons are full, so you're getting young people. Uh, they go into prison for a short term and then they come straight back out. They go straight back into it again. Uh, the reoffending rates are really bad. Uh, if what my suggestion would be is maybe build another prison. Uh, but then, in addition to that, whilst they're in prison, have programs to stop them from reoffending. Okay, it's a, it's, a, it's a huge, huge issue, yeah. and I'm grateful for your uh, contributions uh, to that discussion. Thank you both. Thank, Thank you very much. Being with us. You are watching the news hour on GMTV and this morning's headlines are that children as young as five could be given sex education under new plans to cut teenage pregnancy rates. The group MP says the government is uh, failing to tackle crime as uh, knife and gun attacks rise, as we've just been hearing. And share prices are expected to fall when the stock market opens at eight, following the Prime Minister's comments that the economy is heading into recession. Now here's a question for you. Are five-year-olds uh, too young to start learning about the birds and the bees? Well, according to a government review due to be published later today, teaching children while they're young might be the key to tackling teenage pregnancies. And the lessons are expected to be compulsory. Joined now by sex and relationship psychologist Dr. Petra Boynton. Good to see you this morning. Uh, I think this is going to be controversial. So let's talk about sort of what evidence we have mm. that this is going to help. So what evidence do we have that starting sex education at a younger age is likely to reduce reduce teenage prejudices and reduce incidences of sexually